Hi folks, Rick with GoatFinder.com and today we're going to show you how you can build a closed system milking machine that is perfect for the small farm or hobbyist. So stay tuned. Okay, before we actually get into the, to the actual process of, of making this milking machine, I, I want to point out that there's, if you've done any searching online, you know that there's a wide array of uh, combinations in how people are putting this thing together. I mean, people are adding two teacups, they're adding hand, uh, battery operated vacuum pumps, they're adding foot pumps. Um, but the bottom line is that this particular system right here with one teacup and one vac hand vacuum pump is just as effective as if you had two teacups uh, or some type of uh, automated uh, hand, uh, vacuum pump. Uh, it doesn't take that much longer to milk an animal with one teacup than it does with two. Um, and the other thing is if you're looking at this type of milking machine Number one, you're looking at saving money. You don't want to spend a lot of money on a milking machine. And number two, you feel confident enough that you could probably build this uh, by yourself. So with that said, um, let's go ahead and get started and uh, show you just how quickly you can uh, make this milking machine on your own. Okay, now the tools that you're going to need to build this milking machine is essentially um, a drill, and a pair of scissors. So as you can see, it's you don't really need a whole heck of a lot to, to build this thing. And then um, as far as parts go, um, you'll you'll probably you'll need to get a, a vacuum pump. Uh, this vacuum pumps are essentially uh, used in the automotive industry. They're they're used to bleed brakes. Uh, you can find them online or you can uh, go to local automotive stores and they would have these type of pumps as well. So I want to point out though if you're going to buy your own pump that you ensure that it has a gauge so you can monitor the amount of vacuum or suction that's being applied to your animal. The other thing you're going to need is a teat cup which is basically a uh, syringe housing with a catheter tip so in other words you can slide the hose onto it it's not like a, a needle the other thing you're going to need is a couple of hoses uh, you, that basically you can find at Home Depot or your local hardware store and then you'll also need um, a uh, canning lid and ban. Uh, you can also find these in the uh, your local grocery store in the canning goods section um, or you could buy them uh, from the store that they actually come with the jar so um, all of this stuff like the canning lid, the jar and stuff you can find um, pretty much at your local grocery store. And then uh, finally uh, the fittings uh, you can actually find these online. We, uh, we actually use these. Uh, these are nylon fittings. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see them very well. Um, and then also the nuts are actually nylon. Uh, so we just we feel it's better to kind of keep metal and stuff out of the milk uh, and just go with the nylon type fittings. And then we have a couple of uh, rubber uh, washers that we use to uh, uh, tighten everything down with so anyway as you can see it doesn't take a whole bunch and all these parts can be sourced uh, online the first thing we need to do uh, we need to uh, drill some holes in our lid uh, so we can mount our fittings to so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill a couple of uh, holes here and There's one, yeah, let's drill one more. Okay. 
and you just want to make sure that they're you, you know you kind of keep them evenly spaced and then what you do is you actually take a fitting put it through the hole and then you grab a rubber washer and put that over the hole there just like that and then you take the nylon nut and you put it over uh, you just tighten that up and then I've, I have found that just you can actually just kind of tighten this by hand because um, if you put too much pressure on it because it's, everything's nylon you could actually break the fitting so um, I, I know, typically don't even put a wrench on it I just tighten with the uh, hand tight you know nice and snug and it works pretty good so I actually have a lid here that I've already uh, put fittings on as you can see here um, so that what you do the next step is uh, you go ahead and get your jar just set your lid on there like that just like you're canning something and then you just snug this down so it's uh, so it's tight and then you have your hoses here you need one hose for your vacuum pump so just go ahead and put that on there like that and then you'll need one hose for your teacup and then what you do is just go ahead and uh, slide your hose on there there's your vacuum pump and then also your teacup so as you could see having the parts right here in front of me is really taking me less than five minutes uh, to put this whole thing together and I only needed a drill and a pair of scissors and by the way the pair of scissors is actually used to cut the tubing to length so so again uh, very simple to use uh, once you start milking with this system and you get the tea cup up there and the milk's pouring basically it's a one hand operation you know you could and, and the great thing is you can actually wear gloves if you need to if it's cold outside um, and then you know some people you, you're basically you're sitting in a chair next to the animal so you could actually be having your cup of coffee in the morning while you're milking your animal so uh, which otherwise with two teacups you wouldn't be able to do that another advantage of having one teacup so as you can see uh, again this is an extremely easy machine to build um, it hardly costs you anything to build and uh, if you're interested uh, we you can get further information about this as to where to actually get the parts and so so go ahead and click the link below and uh, visit diymilkamachine.com and uh, thanks for watching <laughs>